Name, flexicency, a word born from the combination of flexibility and efficiency. A European level project that revolves around that key figure, the client. Participants in the program have a very clear aim in mind, to find out how to make the most of real-time data originating from smart meters, in order to bring about new market opportunities and offer energy clients innovative solutions. Flexitiency is an interesting and important project. It aims to bring about a virtual marketplace at the EU level to make available data that distributors collect thanks to the smart meters to traders, to retailers, to whoever wants to offer customers a service. At the core of the Flexitiency project lie four of the main electricity distributors in Europe who employ smart metering systems. Italy, Spain, France and Sweden. Alongside these are sellers of electricity, aggregators, research institutes and over 5,000 end users. So the Flexitiency Consortium is, uh, consists of 18 partners uh, coming from 10 different countries in Europe, in Europe and, and see the participation of four major DSOs uh, in, in Europe, so NL Distribuzione, ERDF, Vattenfall and Desa Distribution, uh, which has already um, rolled out smart metering infrastructure. Uh, they will run uh, four complementary demonstrations all over Europe and a fifth demonstration will be run also in, uh, in Austria. Uh, Led by Fairbund, the Austrian retailer, um, and in Austria there are there is no smart metering infrastructure in place. So the the project will allow to cover completely different uh, conditions, technology conditions, and market conditions. The launch of Flexitiency took place during a two-day work session in Rome. Speakers outlined the scope of the project in a clear and concise way, how to access consumer data made available in real time by electricity distributors in a non-discriminatory manner and give it to various stakeholders with full client consent. And this can result in benefits for end users such as new services and greater competition. Well, the overarching goal of Flexitiency is to show how an overarching market uh, place can help to uh, accelerate uh, the development of retail services in, in the European Union. So what we're talking about is that we are gathering the metering data from, from the DSOs and we're making them available to third parties and market players in order to develop services to, to the customers. The project is budgeted at 19.1 million euros, of which 13.9 come from EU Commission funding. The development within the project of a virtual environment called European Marketplace will result in the possibility of widening the market for energy services on a Europe-wide basis. It will encourage interactions between countries and players. Flexitiency will carry out five large-scale demo projects, one in each participant nation, a tangible proof of the ever-growing opportunities presented by the energy market. This is what the demos imply. We will develop a new value-added services for the end user, in particular for the municipality of Malaga. In practice, we will update and integrate the distribution network under the control of Endesa distribution. We will also develop and integrate the commercial structure under the auspices of Endesa Energia. And we will build a number of interfaces among the different platforms on the one end the platform of the distributor, that of the services, on the other, the market platform. The services and the platform of the market. The demo will involve some 5,000 users who are both residential and non-residential in an area around Milan. With these clients, we will demonstrate which services can be built upon data provided by the smart meter, so real-time data, and this will be done by giving these customers smart info, the device we have developed for the very purpose of gathering and distributing data. And also, thanks to the system, we have developed for Expo 2015 that will allow us to gather data and to disseminate data via web app to clients or to interested third parties. Our aim in France is to help a British operator to best understand how to operate on the French mass market. And for this, we'll provide real-time data that will show the habits of French consumers. We're going to give energy services to um, select customers. Uh, these energy services um, include uh, advanced monitoring services. So we will give them information on their electricity consumption. Um, 
but with a very high resolution, so they really can learn something from that. Um, and based on this very basic information, uh, we will also implement local control. What we do have in Austria is uh, quite a number of customers who own uh, rooftop PV systems and uh, most of them are forced to feed uh, the generated power into the grid at times where it's not actually worth a lot. Um, so it's a very good idea for those customers to consume the electricity themselves, but for that they need a control um, of their appliances and uh, of their own consuming devices. For Waterfall it's really good to, to have the opportunity to um, to plan for, for this new upcoming market and also test these uh, new processes and, and uh, also this uh, third uh, party access and, uh, and enabling uh, new business on the market.